Hi guys, I just wanted to do a short video about your health and why you should not just believe anything out of a plastic bottle is healthy. Um, if you don't know about plastic bottles, to, first off, I do spend some time uh, living abroad sometimes and that means I cannot get clean water without getting them, getting the water in a bottle. And that could also be uh, water bottles, getting um, any drinkable thing in a water bottle made of plastic. And also not only plastic, some glass bottles, especially uh, the Perrier, um, the sparkling water you have also is not good for you. And you, I'll, I'll, t I'll talk about this in a few minutes. But if you drink anything out of a plastic bottle, you might want to know about this. Um, very often we don't know how things are produced. When we buy something from the supermarket, um, we don't know exactly how it's made and we will look in the ingredients list and hope I'm sorry if there's a little bit wind here. Um, we'll look into the ingredients list of m almost anything that is um, made. Uh, and if you're wor worried about your health or not, even better if you're not worried, but you're occupied by being healthy because you wanna uh, know how to life hack yourself into being more healthy is of course providing uh, as much as you can for yourself, grow food for yourself, um, make sure to have a small garden, even just starting up like that. But talking about water that's not always easy to get uh, there's a lot of water everywhere that you can get but you have to clean it first uh, you find it from a lake or whatever you want to clean it uh, there's a lot of filters you have to buy for that very often it's uh, what is it um, is it called coal no it's not it's uh, it is active coal in Danish but it's I'm actually I forgot what it's called in English but let's go back to the water cleaning so when you do clean your water you yourself can trust that exact same thing. But when you buy clean water, they put it in plastic bottles. Very usually they put it in plastic bottles. So if you want uh, healthy water, you should probably not buy it from soft plastic bottles. For that only reason that PFAS, P-F-A-S, which is like a plastic type, that's a um, ingredient in most soft plastics, that actually is an endocrine disruptor, meaning um, it can it can kind of affect your body to think it actually gets estrogen, um, which is the female hormone that we all have, but not the females. The women just have it more than we do. And actually, uh, what I didn't know, it's just a small fact, um, estrogen is actually comes from testosterone. So testosterone gets converted into estrogen as far as I've um, studied. Um, but the reason why you wouldn't get plastic bottles is because the PFAS um, um, ingredient, well, the plastic type that makes bottles really soft. So let's look at these bottles. And, and what's dangerous here is like, I found this uh, close to a tennis place. Uh, this is what they sell in the shop. It's just lying out in the sun right now. And when the sun hits this bottle up, it actually releases some of those toxins in the water. And since you don't know how this is transported either, this could be transported in a foreign country where it's very sunny and you know the doors are open some guy driving the truck hasn't closed the sides to it and might stand for outside like this in the sun for a couple of hours which should be enough for it to get um, issues so if you want to get some healthy of course all of this is very sugary stuff uh, as you might can see um, and um, the thing is with those things is that you can drink it and your body will might feel fine but you get all these extra toxins because the water is not cleaned it's not uh, sufficient for your body and uh, it, it actually disrupts your hormonal balance so if you keep drinking something like that even any soda like coca-cola or whatever uh, can be uh, uh, equally as harmful but also because you, then you have aluminium um, cans and stuff like that and if there's any holes or anything where the aluminum co is connected, what do you call it, has contact with the beverage that you're drinking, then again, it's very unhealthy for you. So since these things are standing outside, you might actually buy this when it's in the fridge later on in whatever sports, uh, fitness, you know. And when that's in there, then you don't see it's been outside in the sun. You don't know how much PFAS there is in the water. Um, so you might want to look into that because getting all these um, disruptors of hormones in your water and there's so much knowledge about this you can research 
Um, so I really recommend try to stay away from bottled water, bottled uh, soda, anything like that if you can. And even better is buying glass containers or wood containers or, you know, some woods can actually also give you um, some, uh, well, stuff that's not good for you in the long term. But mostly uh, glass could be good or um, any type of other material that's not unhealthy. But you can also buy some that is PFAS, um, uh, that doesn't have PFAS in it, uh, PFAS, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. And you can buy those and then drink from that. It, very often it's hardened plastic, so you can't bend it or anything. So you might want to look into this if you're into water, because it's something we take in every day. And you know what we take in every day becomes our medicine. So anything you eat every day and you wonder why you're sick, it could be any type of food, any type of drinks. It could even be your clothes if they're made of polyester. Wearing that every day close to your skin can disrupt your body and give you diseases or any time the symptoms of not being healthy or being out of balance. So it's very important what we, we actually intake things, uh, things on our body is actually becomes part of our system because it's on our skin doesn't mean that it doesn't get into the body. So right back to the bottle thing. If you buy glass bottles, there's some bottles you might be um, weary about drinking like Perrier, um, I know that they're green bottles, even the plastic ones, but especially also the green ones. It's green glass and it can, can I don't know other, about other green glass uh, bottles, but I know that they have some compounds in it like lead, which is super toxic, by the way. Lead just ruins the brain, ruins your health. And that's why it's in, it's illegal in all gas, gasoline you put into cars or machinery. It's illegal to put any types of, uh, that, that's why it's called lead free uh, gasoline. But the thing is there's still one thing you can use that still has lead in it. And that's the old airplanes, the smaller ones, the Cessna airplanes, they actually still fly around with that. But again, it's so little, but it still is not healthy. Um, yeah, so look into that. It does have lead in it. So you drink those Perrier thinking, oh, this is French, uh, lovely water. Um, it's actually not good for you. So be aware of glass bottles um, uh, that it has those lead things in it. And also be very wary about the PFAS bottle because you don't know how it's been stored. And it has to be in a darker place, cooled all the time and not outside in the sun here to end up on the shelves in a supermarket. So again, know your uh, if you know who delivers your food like a local farmer ask them how do they produce the food what do the chickens eat um that they have because that's going to end up in your eggs and you know the best thing is to actually do it yourself provide for yourself uh instead of relying on supermarkets as much as you can so that's my best um interpretation of, of these well free bottles that i found but they will end up in some kind of sports. And you know, you go in there and you work out for two hours or like play tennis or play paddle. And then you are like, oh, you're so thirsty. So you buy that. And then you realize uh, that's not good for your health. That actually disrupts your body from being healthy. So it's not a good thing. Anyways, I hope you can use this for something and, and do remember to take control of your own health. And uh, yeah, start growing something yourself. You can even buy uh, what is it called? Cress? Um, I forgot what it's called. Kaz in Danish. Um, buy some seeds next time you're out shopping. Try to plant some seeds. See how that is. There is a uh, actually shown that people do a little bit of garden or a little bit of herbs uh, in their home. Actually have a potentially of, of if you have a depression or you feel anxiety, there's some meditative meditative state you can get into just by seeing things grow and watering every day it's like mirroring back to you that you take care of yourself as well anyways um more of this coming let me know if you have any questions i would love to send you my articles about uh, all these things if you want to learn more and yeah stay healthy and um in good spirit see you guys take care get healthy